Hello everyone, today we are going to visit three movie locations that you can easily visit in Edinburgh. So how are you all? Hope you are all happy and healthy and well out there. Look at this, the, the sun is kind of shining, it's five o'clock now, so the sun's, you know, the clouds are coming in. But people are about, the town is getting busier. As of today, you are allowed to meet up to six different people from six different households outside. So the world is definitely starting to get back to normal here. Slowly, we're not there yet, but we're getting there. Uh, but yeah, so I thought people have asked for absolutely ages, absolutely ages to visit or start to, to go through locations that movies have been filmed in Edinburgh. Um, so we're just going to visit, I, I was going to think will we do it by film or will we do it by location? Um, on this occasion we're going to do just three different films, three different locations. I have touched on these before um, on, at random times but I thought it'd be nice just to go through them. You can probably guess what I'm starting on because we're on Princess Street and the castle is right there because right here is one of the most iconic openings to a film ever. Train spot. No, train spot in one, not train spot in two. Uh, train spot in one, for the most part, although it is set set in Edinburgh, it was filmed majorly in Glasgow, not really in Edinburgh. But the opening scene, the, the arguably the most iconic scene, was filmed in Edinburgh. It was filmed right here. If you ever get a chance to see some of the extra uh, footage of that, cut scenes, they do a little bit more from that, but this is where it all sort of started. So they, they, they were supposed to be going into a shop called John Menzies um, on Princess Street. It's not there anymore, or the, 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 that company isn't there anymore, but the shop still is. And this is the shop they were originally going into. It's now an Urban Outfitters, but it was John Menzies. And they went in there and they stole DVDs. Can't remember what I was saying. I <laughs> got distracted. Um, so, yeah, John Menzies, that's what I'm saying, John Menzies. So you go in there, they steal DVDs, and then they were running away. The film, however, starts with them running away. So they're running down Princess Street, right here. So you can, all, you can always know from now on that that was the John Menzies that they were originally stealing from. And then they're running down, they're dropping CDs, and was there DVDs back in 95, 96? Not sure, can't remember. And then they're running all the way down. However, here's a little thing. If you look, and obviously films film, they use different bits that might not be exactly right. For example, filming most of train spotting in Glasgow when it's actually set in Edinburgh. Uh, but there's a bit here where Sick Boy, when he's running, he quickly ducks around a corner and hides. And it was here, even though this was the shop that they stole it, he quickly ducks here and hides by this bit here and the rest of them run past. So you'll know that next time you're here. However, what we're gonna do while we're visiting this as well is we're gonna go to all the sort of sites in that iconic run that you see. So you can go to all, all the bits if you want. So they're running down Princess Street. You can run down Princess Street if you want. And there's hardly anyone here right now, so it'd be very easy to do. Except obviously I'm too mature to do anything like that. I mean, I'm a dad now, you know what I mean? I can't be silly enough to start pretending I'm a train spot and running down the road. Last for life! It's really nice to see so many people out and about waiting for the buses and things. It's, it's starting to feel normal. Anyway, so they would have run down Prince Street if we're taking it in real time. They run down Prince Street for a fair bit, about three, four blocks. They've run most of that street here. They've run three, almost four blocks, three and a half blocks to get to here, sprinting. By Hanover Street, opposite the gallery, and then they run up here. And the reason I know they run up here is because I will show you the exact shot. I'm going to try to do this without getting run over, standing in the middle of the road and filming. And I know some of you hate it when I do this, and you give me a row. But it's all for you guys. That's why I'm doing it. It's all for you guys. They may have been further up, but you see this shot and Renton running up the road, right there. And from here, he runs for a while before you see him again. As soon as I'm finished and I'm not standing in the middle of the road, the crossing allows you to cross and stand in the road. Some people may say I should have waited for that, but I didn't. Okay, one more spot to visit on the train spot in a opening sequence run. And I know that's not actually what I meant with doing film locations. But I don't think you can do that opening sequence without doing 
all of the spots that are in that run. So we did Princess Street, we ran up Hanover Street. I'm actually the other end of Princess Street right now because I want to show you how to get to it. And it already featured in last week's video in um, Now and Then number five. We were there in this exact spot last week. But it, it, it's important to what we're doing right now, so we need to go back. Um, so just so you know where you're going, if you want to go to this location for either now and then or for a train spot. There is Princey Street, the Balmoral Hotel, um, and that's heading up towards the Royal Mile, across uh, North Bridge. Heading up that way is going to Waverley Place, all places we've been and then onto Regent Road. But you want to head down this way. This is where you want to go if you want to get to the last spot, down Leith Street. And you need to come hardly any way down Leith Street, because literally that's where we just were. And then you get to here. And these are the steps. This is the famous steps that he jumps down and runs. So you could literally do it yourself. Run down here, run down here, run down here. And then he jumps around this corner right here right there and in fact you're probably very very used to that exact shot on the film where he jumps down that corner and you'll recognize this because we were here last week talking about now and then and someone actually said in the comment that the reason that the electric bit from that lamppost had changed because it was gas and now it's electric so that was interesting thank you whoever put that comment and I can't remember now but then yeah here the car pulls down here Renton hits the car and starts laughing in the car but yeah and then Spud, you see Spud going running down here. And then this is revisited in the second film again, but that is the, all the spots from the opening section of Train Spot in that open and running section. I know that's slightly more than I'm gonna do for the other two, because the other two are just spots for one scene, essentially, for the other two films we're visiting, but I don't think I could have done that scene from Train Spotting without doing the entire route. So there we go. Three locations from train spotting. Let's go on to the second one. The second location is actually back here at the art gallery. Actually, this big space right here, which is a beautiful big space. It's perfect for, say, oh, I don't know, a dance routine. Now, if you visit here at Christmas, normally this will be a big part of the Christmas market. During the Edinburgh Festival, there will be people dancing here and selling tickets for shows and all that sort of thing as well. Just so you know where we are, National Gallery, right there. That is the back end of the Royal Mile. There is the Scott Monument, and right there is Princes Street again. But this space right here, featured in the film, Sunshine and Leith. Now, if you don't know the film Sunshine and Leith, look it up. Look it up. It's a film based on a musical called Sunshine and Leith. And that musical is based on the music of The Proclaimers. And if you don't know who The Proclaimers are, why are you watching videos about Edinburgh and Scotland? <laughs> the Proclaimers. The quintessential Edinburgh band. Sunshine and Leith. Leith? Sunshine and Leith. 500 Miles. Um, Letter from America. All these classic songs. Anyway. <laughs> Look how busy it is there. Look at that. People are out, people are sitting, people are allowed to see each other. Ah, life will find a way, my friends. Life will find a way, to quote Jeff Goldblum. Um, so yeah, so there's a big, at the end, it finishes with a big dance routine right here. So the two leads, romantic leads, for lack of a better description, start having a nice romantic moment here, surrounded by everyone and everyone watching. And, and they start to sing slowly, where eventually, obviously, it speeds up. And this whole thing, the whole space is filled with dancers, and the lead characters are standing on top of those steps there, and it's all, it's actually a nice big ending to it, really. It's a nice big thing. So if you haven't seen it, please go check it out. I'm sure you could check online for just that exact scene, the finale of Sunshine at least. But this is, this is it. This is a lovely spot here. So for those of you, thinking about visiting more movie spots this is where you can come for this i know this is a quick one but you know this is a list of places you can visit from films because i think we all enjoy seeing places we know on tv and on films and when it's little bits like this like i like i showed you the entire route of where they run on train spotting 
when it's little bits like this, I think you're able to go, ah, oh, this was that film. This was that film. So that's that's whole dance routine. Hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of people dancing. There must be a couple of hundred. But yeah, all here. Go on, look it up. You know you want to. That was a quick one. And the last one's a quick one as well. Now, as a bonus, I'm not going to show you it, but I'm going to put a link to it. Obviously, very famously, in the last couple of years, um, Avengers um, Infinity War filmed here in Edinburgh. I will leave a link in the corner because I visit all the sites for that one. I'm not going to go there again. I've mentioned it in many videos before as well. But if you want to see all the sites that Avengers Infinity War filmed in Edinburgh, link in the corner, link in the description. Go check that one out. However, the last one, do you remember Birkin here? The film Birkin here, starring Simon Pegg. They filmed some of that in town as well. There's some beautiful shots, actually, um, where it's to show it's, it's around Edinburgh, some of the closest and everything like that. But there is a bar where Simon Pegg meets uh, Isla Fisher's character and kind of falls in love with her. And the outside, the street area, that was filmed in Edinburgh as well. So if you if you like that film and you want to see where that bar is. That is where we're going. Oh, he's gone. He's gone already. But I just met a lovely gent called Eddie who subscribes to the channel and watches the video and stopped me and said hello. Eddie, it was lovely to meet you. It was so nice to meet you, mate. Thank you so much. It's so nice to, to meet people who watch the channel. Enjoy. So if you're ever seeing me out and about, please say hello. Please say hello. Our last location. The last location is actually a double. It's a, it's a film and it's a TV programme. Like I said, Birkin here, and I'll tell you about, more about the TV program in a second. But I want you to be able to get here if you're interested. So, that is the grass market right there. That's the start of the grass market just going along there. And you can just see the bottom of uh, Victoria Street, kind of both street there, Victoria Street there. This is Candlemaker Row here, which leads up to Greyfriars Bobby right there. That is the entrance to Greyfriars Bobby's Kirkyard right there, although you can get in just there as well because that is Greyfriars Kirkyard, right there. So hopefully you should be able to find it. Halfway up Candlemaker Row, you get to Merchant Street. And go this way, go into Merchant Street. As we head in here, under this very cool bridge, underneath the bridges, funnily enough, we get to this dead end, so to speak. Although there's a, there's a little close that you can dive down and get to the cow gate if you want. But you see, on the right hand side here, this blocked up doorway, that's a little bit higher than the street. See that there? That has been used in many a many a thing, I think, really. But the two I'm going to talk about is Birkin Hare with Simon Pegg. That was the bar, entrance to the bar. Simon Pegg, as I mentioned, met Isla Fisher's character. And they actually cut to outside here quite a lot in that, that shot right there. As an added bonus, does anyone remember the TV programme Shoebox Zoo? probably about 10, 12, 13 years old now but the very first episode very first episode of Shoebox Zoo this young girl whose dad was played by Jason Conray who has been a guest on Scottish Memories um, gets a box full of little animals, a little shoe box full of animals toy animals that actually come to life that was the shop the magical shop because it was only open for her to go in and then when they went back it was shut it was gone disappeared, locked up. But it was also used for that, that was used as the entrance to the shop as well. So if you're interested in a double sort of film slash TV location, it's probably one that people don't realise and forget about and maybe maybe they don't care, but that's probably why this is a good one to put on there. Also if you're in this area and the world is back to normal, Dropkick Murphy's is a great bar. Live music, great atmosphere, I've had some many many good nights in there. But yeah, so there you have our third location. And you know, you can get some nice pictures here as well. Who wouldn't like some nice pictures of the streets here and things? But you know how I enjoy old buildings like that. I mean, even if you look up, look at that. Anyway, <laughs> I think we'll leave it there for the day, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. Just three film locations that you can easily visit um, if you're out and about in Edinburgh. 
Um, if you enjoyed that guys, as always, please remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and leave a comment. Let me know if you've visited any of these or if you know any other films where you want me to go and show the locations as well. But, till next time. Bye humans.